What's up, coffee snobs? We're back in Hudson today. So where we're sitting right now is actually uh, New City's outdoor seating. Um, they have a couple picnic tables out here. They have some lights strung up and uh, some art on the walls. It is very cute and um, yeah, just a nice place to sit and enjoy your coffee, even on a hot day. We're trying out New City Micro Creamery's new uh, fall drink for me. I'm just one of the regular drinks for Alex, right? That's, that's right. I got a Vietnamese iced coffee today. And I got the iced pumpkin spice latte. In addition to my Vietnamese iced coffee, I also got an affogato. This is my first time ever having an affogato. Uh, what it is is ice cream um, with espresso poured over it. Um, it is absolutely delectable. It is very hot out today, so most of the ice cream has melted, but it is still a, is a very nice treat. We couldn't go to New City without trying their ice cream. What do you think of your drink so far? So far, it is just exactly what I expect with the pumpkin spice latte. It's creamy, it's warm, even though it's a nice drink, it just feels so nice and warm inside. It's just perfect. And this is my first uh, pumpkin spice latte of the season. Nice, yeah? good stuff. It looks like Alex is really enjoying the avocado. I am, I am, okay. And how about the Vietnamese iced coffee? Um, it's excellent. It's definitely more on the sweeter side. I don't normally go for sweet drinks. I like I like my coffee to have like a strong flavor to it, but um, this is definitely winning me over a little bit. <laughs> um, between this and the and the ice cream espresso, like it's definitely so much caffeine. So much caffeine, so much sugar, so much all the good things that we love here. So New City may have started here in Hudson, but they also have locations in Sudbury and Cambridge, and they recently won Best Ice Cream in Cambridge. Wow, really? Yeah. That's crazy. They have really interesting flavors, like um, baklava, baklava ice, cream. ice cream. Oh my god, it is one of my favorite desserts, and translating that into ice cream somehow. I'm, I'm sure, because the, all, all their other flavors are amazing. I'm sure they do it justice. Oh yeah. There are other flavors. They have lemon poppy seed, they have mm. coffee, they have like um, vanilla bourbon, peanut butter. Their recent summer menu, one of their drinks was the Sing the Blues Latte, which was based on their original Sing the Blues ice cream, which had blueberries and cinnamon in it, which Ooh. sounds really good. <laughs> Hey guys, Alex here. Just gonna do a quick outro today. Just wanted to let you guys know that Julia has unfortunately left WMCT TV. Uh, we will miss her very much, but she's on to greener pastures and there's definitely no hard feelings. We love her and she's welcome here anytime. We're gonna put New City in the A category. The coffee was great. The vibes there are awesome. Definitely go check it out. Um, this is unfortunately going to be a sort of permanent hiatus for ice coffee crawl. We had a lot of fun doing it, but uh, Julia was really the one leading the charge, contacting all the different uh, coffee shops and whatnot. And uh, like I said, she will be missed. This series will also be missed, especially by me. You know how much I love coffee. Um, but I will try to do more things in the future like this, try to get on camera more. And yeah, thank you guys so much for checking it out. Um, until next time, I've been Alex O'Neill, and I'll see you around.